today I'm going to be talking about something you probably don't know about. So, all of you know what a virus is. It's a very small, some consider it organ organism, some people don't. It's very small. It has little, to, like, tiny bits of genes, not even that much. And also, its only goal is to infect other cells, take them over, and make more copies of itself. That's all a virus is. And you can only see it with the electron microscope. They're that small. Bacteria are very much larger than viruses. So, what you don't know about is a gyrus. So a gyrus is a giant virus. Hence the name. So, what it is, it's this huge virus that can be seen with a regular microscope about the same size as most bacteria. And this is what caused many scientists to not believe it was a virus. Because like it looked the same as other bacteria and it was like the same size. And also, viruses have so many genes that people just thought it was just another bacteria. Viruses have thousands of genes compared to a regular virus which has 20, 20 genes. And all of these genes are meant for one thing, infecting. But in a gyrus, it's meant for many, many things. Advanced cell culture. So what it does is, it goes and it hijacks a, a really large human cell, a really large, any animal really. And it infects them, and it takes over the cell. And what it does is, it separates it from a regular virus. Think of this analogy, a bank robber bank and taking a few a few pieces of cash and leaving. However, a gyrus would break into the bank and burn down the whole bank and take millions of dollars out. That's the difference between a virus and a gyrus. So the gyrus comes in and it hijacks the entire cell entirely and uses all of its resources to make something called a viral flagellum which basically is a virus factory. But not any virus, a gyrus. And they make so many of those to go infect other cells. Some gyruses even create special defense mechanisms against an immune system attack, which in viruses is very hard to do. Because to do anything special, you need a lot of genes, and viruses don't have that, but gyruses do. But yeah. They blur the lines between what, what's defined as living and not living. Because viruses aren't living at all. Because they don't have all the things they require. They, they're just too simple. But viruses are viruses, but complex. Something to think about. 